Good morning, friends. I felt like creating a video today for you about overwhelm. Dealing with overwhelm as a mother has been a huge part of my process for the last five years. Navigating through big emotions and trauma and my own boundaries as well as primarily my daughter's needs and my family's needs have been a labyrinth, you know, to navigate through. Overwhelm is a nervous system response that I think a lot of mothers deal with as a part of their lives. Um, needless to say, there are things that we can do to, to better deal with our responses when things are stressful. This morning I woke up, it's Sunday, and I was feeling a lot of big grief. I was missing my dog a lot. And then I came down and my daughter has a totally different energy level when, when my husband is home. And, you know, she was playing and screaming and running around. And, you know, before I could even notice how I, how I was feeling, I was just totally overwhelmed and... When I'm overwhelmed, I, you know, try to fix everything, um, fix my surroundings so that they don't trigger me. And then while I was in this, you know, response of trying to fix everything around me, my husband married me, thankfully, and that made me just collapse into tears. And he gave me a hug, and my daughter gave me a hug, and... It was just a release of energy and stress coming out of my system. And naturally and interestingly enough, that uh, resulted in me feeling better and feeling more in touch with, with my heart and my body and wanting to create. So I grabbed, you know, my camera and, uh, and went up to my, my favorite spot to sit there and share this moment of release and openness with you. And I just want to say from my heart to you as mothers that there's nothing wrong with you for feeling overwhelmed. We're not supposed to, you know, be a whole village. And it is, you know, a lot to deal with, dealing with our own emotions and our own traumas, as well as dealing with our family and our kids' emotions and needs and everything. And I just want you to know that I see that and I, I feel that and, and yeah, I support you in your journey. Learning to differentiate what am I feeling right now and what can I do about those feelings? What do I need right now? Because overwhelm is really just a mash of different feelings a lot of the time. And when we start sorting, what am I feeling and how can I express that feeling? We own what we feel and we own who we are in that moment. Overwhelm makes me feel like a victim, like I have no choice. I lose my autonomy. Becoming aware and feeling supported and feeling safe under my own skin is when I regain autonomy is when I become in power again. Speaking out, getting the support that you need, breathing, singing, relaxing, shifting the focus is some of the things that can help us when we're stressed out. Walking in the forest, using our senses, to re-navigate ourselves and land in the present moment. I see you and I feel you and you're good enough. I'm good enough. What we're doing this present moment is good enough.